Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be using some melt and pour soap base that I haven't used in a very long time. It's been ooh, uh, four years I think since I've tried this so I'm really sorry. This is the crystal soap base and it's the uh, suspending so it's meant to hold the particles where they are rather than them sinking to the bottom. So I'm hoping this would be really good for swirls. I'm going to have to do a few tests to find out what temperatures this will get a skin at inside the container and then see how long I have to work with. And once I've done that, then I can sort of figure out at what temperature or how I should pour it and how I should swirl it because I really want a nice swirl with this. So for my fragrance, I'm going to be using Love Spell. For my colors, I'm going to be using red liquid dye and magenta. I'm also going to be using uh, titanium dioxide. This is specially designed for uh, melt and pour rather than like a powder. And I'm also going to be using some white pearl mica. All right, so let's get started. There's a kilogram of it here. I'm going to put it in this container and I'm going to use the microwave. It is so hot right now, I don't really want to turn the boiler on. So I'm going to use a quick option and use the microwave. Write in the comments below if you use this base or not. What was your experience? Because I'd really like to know from other people. Okay, so this base uh, took about two to three minutes in the microwave, 30 second bursts, and it's. Um, it's looking pretty good. It's uh, at a consistency that's sort of like just any other soap, but it's holding a lot more bubbles than uh, most of the other bases that I've worked with. And every time I stir, it creates more bubbles. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch and wait until that gets a skin uh, on top, and then I'll be able to know at what temperature it will not melt itself at. Because if you have skin on top of the container here, then the base underneath is not going to melt it and therefore you find the temperature that it's not going to melt each other at and therefore swirls should be possible that is 136 which is 58 celsius it's looking all right it's it's a thicker consistency but it's still dribbling off so i'm going to wait a little bit and see what happens all right so this is now 130 degrees Fahrenheit which is 54 and it's still very liquidy but I can see it's starting to slow down I'm getting these tiny little clumps on top which is a good sign of the temperature and how it's going to work I'll just keep watching so that's 127 which is 52 and you can see hopefully that that's getting a little bit of a skin so at this temperature it's still very fluid so I think it still needs to go down a little bit more I'll keep checking on it I can always reheat it and get it back to a higher temperature and inside it's 125 so first thing I'm gonna do is add the fragrance and because this is a kilogram I'm gonna add 2% 20 grams I'm just stirring this in really well. So I'm going to split this up. I've got two containers here. One is going to be white and then the other one is going to be the magenta and white. So it's a, a lighter color. And then there's just going to be the clear, which is going to be the red and the magenta. This is the magenta, two of the magenta and then one and then two of the red two drops in red and one drop of red okay so this is the white pearl mica not really sure how much to add but maybe that 
and then this one is going to get the full white which is this and in this one up here which is just the clear I'm going to add some ultra fine shooting star glitter I think we're ready to pour. Just gonna spritz the top of each one. Okay, here we go. So it's about six hours later and I'm going to unmold this and as you can see it didn't go all the way to the top so these are going to be reasonably small bars. Oh, it feels like a really tiny loaf because it's not tall. This is Love Spell, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.